Um, is that too loud? Like, can y'all hear me? Let me let me test this out and see. Hold on, let me stop this video, check the sound, and then come back. Okay, so I think the sound is fine. I will in, in editing will try to edit out the, the background noise, but if that doesn't work, then I'm sorry, y'all. <laughs> Um, I just got done with sessions for the day, so I'm pretty much done with like work things. Um, and I was just really thinking, cause I've been, <laughs> I've been getting the, I want to quit itch. Um, and it's really interesting because I just started this position about three and a half months ago. Also, I'm outside of the activity pool, as you can see. So you heard kids, but, um, yeah, anyway. I just started this position like three and a half months ago um, and it's like I know why I have the itch to quit I know why it's come so fast but it's like distressing to me because, <laughs> because you know these are people lives man like I'm a therapist so these are people lives and I don't want to just like abruptly leave and like I know what that process is like trying to find a therapist that you mesh with that you feel like hears you but like also I'm tired of this work <laughs> and and <laughs> I had a reading you remember yesterday I told you guys I had I had a personal reading um, from her YouTube and like social media handles are Paget Queen Pixie. Uh, so look her up. She's amazing. First off, if you, um, and in that right, like I, I kind of asked about that and what Spirit said was like, you know, remember why you quit the last job? Like, don't get caught in those same cycles. Um, and and I and that's where this like itch is coming from because I'm starting to feel. Like I'm in the same type of cycle where I'm just, it's not satisfying to me. It's not satisfying to me. And I've also begun to pursue my life coach certification. And so I, I've been trying to process and make sure that I am not so excited about this life coach certification, expanding my reach with, you know, who I'm able to work with and things like that and, and the type of targeted work that I will be doing as a life coach. Um, trying to make sure that that's not, that the excitement of that is not indirectly making me feel like I'm not satisfied where I am. Because I am, I am very much grateful for where I am. I'm very much grateful for every session and every experience and things like that, but it's like, work be heavy work be heavy and i can't just be like they take me in like let's not see it take me in <laughs> um so cute yeah I, like work be heavy and i'd be tired and it's like in every part of my life my life is about show it feels like my life is about showing up for other people like and that energizes me this, this is not a dig this is not to say it in a bad way or a negative way or that i'm irritated by this but um yeah i, I just i feel like every part of my life is about showing up for other people which is ironic because right now every part of our life is about what makes me happy genuinely everything I do is about what makes me happy but the things that make me happy tend to be things in which I'm showing up for other people um and I and I guess I'm just I'm just learning to balance that I'm learning to and I'm um exploring the ways in which I can do that that doesn't drain me or doesn't feel like oh my fucking god or maybe I'm just in you know healing in the same way that healing has its ebbs and flows, um, jobs, the energy that you have for your job, for your work has its ebbs and flows. And like, sometimes you just be a little bit more tired of doing that shit than normal. <laughs> or like, you know, maybe this is me coming out of that honeymoon phase of my work. Like, I'm, I need a break or something. Hold on, we start here.
Oh, that hit the spot. Um, I don't know. I, I feel like my thoughts are not organized. I feel like this is a ramble. I just don't know. I just am, I'm really in distress because I do like, I mean, some sessions I'm sitting in and I'm, I'm watching the clock the entire time. Like, and that's probably a bad thing to say and to put out. But listen, let's be real here. Let's be fucking real here. You sitting in, you sitting in this session telling me about how tired and frustrated you are with your job and how, um, unsatisfied you are with your job and sometimes you or or like you're having this period or maybe you had just like a really frustrating day at work and it's like i be having a frustrated day at work too and i'm allowed to just because i'm a therapist and my work is creating space for you to work your shit out doesn't mean that it's also not a frustrate that work can't also be a frustrating experience for me and maybe i need to accept that that Maybe I feel so bad that I'm having frustrating feelings about what I feel is my soul's work that I'm feeling like I want to quit. Or maybe it's just, maybe I, I really, it really is time for that. And, or maybe that really is coming up pretty soon and it's far sooner than I would have expected. But yeah, I mean, cause like two or excuse me, three, four, five, really two, like, the growth trajectory for the context in which I do therapy is I would have to be in this position for two years, get a certain amount of supervision hours, get a certain amount of clinical hours, study, take another exam to become clinically licensed um, to be able to move up and do more. And then even still, I'm only able to do that with clients in one state. And that's just very limiting to me. That, that is very limiting to me. That is very, it doesn't feed my optimism. It doesn't feed, it doesn't energize me to know that. It's not like that's something, I, or yes it is. I think about that a lot, actually. I'm lying. I was about to say, it's not that. I think about that all the time, but actually I do. Um, and I just, I can do without that. Like I could do without this, I don't know. I don't know. And if you want to expand your reach, right, you have to either transfer your license or take the test for other states. Um, and that is more money because because mind you, mind you, mind you, mind you. OK, you have to get CEUs, which in the context in which I do therapy, nobody is paying for that like so a lot of people can can uh run into it where they work for organizations who either offer some of them or offer to help you pay for your ceus because they can get expensive and you have to have a certain amount every two years to maintain your license um, and then when you want to transfer your license there's often hundreds of dollars of transfer fees or like um, hundreds of dollars in taking their test like it, it and each state is different so then you also might have to get other like coursework requirements field or um, take an extra extra exam on top of it uh, because of their state requirements and it's just it's too much it's, it's too much it's too much it's too much <laughs> it's too much if, if, if I can do therapy in one state I should be able to do therapy in all the states it's just too much and also too something else that there's so many thoughts man. <laughs> there's so many thoughts this was this video today was supposed to be about you know like my walmart run this morning and my spiritual scrub spiritual bath that i'm planning or was planning for tonight i don't know even if i have the energy for it tonight or if i'm in the right headspace um for it tonight because the things that i'm intentionally addressing with that are different from this um it's, it, it doesn't really have anything to do with my career um or honestly maybe my life is so intertwined maybe it fucking does and all you know maybe i just have sat with so much of my own heaviness and my own darkness and processed my own trauma and my own my own shit that like I'm not in the space to, like, I no longer wish, like, I don't wish to be in therapy. <laughs> Damn. 
I don't wish to be in therapy, like in on either side of the table. Maybe I'm just over that space. Damn. That's wild to say as someone who advocates for people to go to therapy, but then again, no, it's not because the point is to grow out of therapy. Like you shouldn't be in therapy forever. I know that we say like, oh, like it's cool to still be going to therapy. You know, even when you feel like shit is all good. Like even if you like just going once a month, but like, why? If you haven't grown out of therapy or grown into being able to figure out for yourself what you need or accessing coping mechanisms or being able to do your own exploration and research then you're not doing therapy right and your therapist is not doing right by you and that's the tea that's the motherfucking tea and it's like me having those thoughts is like i on the one hand it's like girl that's exactly why the fuck you need to still be in therapy but on the other hand, it's like staying in therapy in this way doesn't serve your highest good in the highest and longest run. So in the same way that the clients need to grow out of therapy, so do you. Heard you. <laughs> I See, heard you, heard you. Y'all know I get on here and get myself together all the motherfucking time. All the time I get on here and get myself together. Listen, it's a wee thing. It's a wee thing. But one thing about it, one thing about it, I'm going to get me there. And I know that you can get you there. And so I just need to put myself in a position, in a space, and in a context in which I can help you do that. But in a way that serves my highest good. Because this it's no longer for my highest good. It no longer serves my highest good. So I just need to be prepared to transition out of it. All right. <laughs> well, post work conversations, vacation conversations, Las Vegas edition. I'm about to. Um, head to the corner store it's Tuesdays I'm about to head to the corner store it's Tuesday Tuesday is my date day um, it's the day I take myself to the $5 movie and lucky for me resort living means there's a $5 movie right motherfucking there um, so I'm gonna run to the corner store pick up some wine they sell the little you know mini bottles I'll pick up a couple mini bottles of wine uh pack the snack bag and head to the movies i'm glad i came on here to talk to myself and talk to whoever ends up watching this i hope that this finds you well because i feel like i'm not the only one that needed the general message of this uh, vacation conversation <laughs> i'm really pretty wow why did I ever doubt this face card? Um, okay, I'm gonna get off here, y'all. Uh, yo, I hope you have enjoyed your day. I hope work was great for you. If work was not great, I hope you are creating joy and rest for yourself to rejuvenate your mind, body, and spirit. Um, other than that, be well, be kind, be loved.